Imagine a world where we breathe clean air and drink clean water that stays clean forever. Where we thrive on organic food grown in our local communities, where our lifestyle is natural, sustainable and cooperative, and where our planet's ecosystems are restored and preserved. This vision is close to becoming a reality. To make it real, we have to start thinking and acting in a different way. The way of green infrastructure. Green infrastructure involves creating a network of natural and semi-natural spaces in terrestrial, freshwater, coastal and marine areas, which are designed and managed in order to conserve biodiversity, contribute to climate change adaptation and reduce vulnerability to natural disasters. The key to green infrastructure is to maintain the flow of valuable ecosystem services that nature provides to society. At the same time, its applications are different in rural, peri-urban and urban settings. Rural areas are important for all ecosystems, as they provide us with essential food and energy resources. Biodiversity protection initiatives are urgently needed to reverse the damage done to our ecosystems and to shift away from unsustainable land use practices. Peri-urban areas act as filters between rural and urban territories and often play a significant role in food and water supply for cities. Urban areas are home to 60% of the EU population. With green infrastructure, cities can be places where natural resources are used efficiently, where the air is clean and people are healthy, and where people walk and cycle instead of drive. It is well documented that greener environments have profound psychological and physiological benefits. People are more physically active, and doctors report that complaints related to depression are lower by as much as one-third from patients who live in or near areas with large green spaces. Green spaces also encourage social interaction and integration. Around 83% more individuals engage in social activity in green spaces. Green areas also have positive effects on children's behaviour and ability to pay attention. There are ways to invest in nature that are beneficial for both people and the economy. Studies show that green spaces near the workplace reduce the incidence of sick leave while also increasing productivity. At the same time, views of natural landscapes can add up to 18% to property values. Green infrastructure involves combining efforts to conserve our natural heritage and promote human well-being. Also, because our natural environment has enormous economic value, this approach has become part of the Europe 2020 strategy for smart, sustainable growth. We are the Green Infranet Project, a partnership of 11 regions from nine countries across Europe, established to address the challenges of biodiversity conservation and the loss of valuable ecosystems. By exchanging expertise and identifying, analyzing and transferring good practices, we seek to strengthen the development and implementation of green infrastructure in EU regions. We believe that this approach will lead us to a sustainable future and enable us to adapt to a changing climate. Let's work together to advance the green infrastructure concept in our regions. It's the natural thing to do.